Today, we are going to take a look at some of the mega projects that China is building or planning to build and how they are breaking world records in terms of scale, speed and innovation. China is known for its ambitious and often controversial infrastructure projects which aim to boost its economy, improve its connectivity and showcase its technological prowess. Some of these projects are so massive and complex that they seem almost unbelievable. Let's check them out. First, we have the Shanghai Urban Rail Transit Expansion, which is a US $44.23 billion project that includes construction of nine rail projects, including six subway lines and three intercity railway zones. The projects, which began in 2018, are estimated to total 286 kilometers. The network is aimed at creating better connections between the financial hub's two airports and two major railway stations. They are expected to be completed by 2023. Next, we have the Intercity Rail Network in eastern Guangdong, which is a US $14.86 billion project that will facilitate connections between the cities of Shantou, Shanwei Keasu, and Jiangtu. Construction on three rail lines, totaling 320 kilometers, started in 2018, with work on four others, totaling 140 kilometers, to start at the right time, according to the NDRC. Next, we have the Taiwan Strait Tunnel Project, which is a proposed underwater tunnel that would connect mainland China and Taiwan. The project was first proposed in 1996 by a Chinese engineer named Wang Mengshu, who envisioned a 135-kilometer tunnel that would run under the Taiwan Strait and link Pington Island in Fujian Province with Sinchu City in Taiwan 3. The project has not been officially approved or endorsed by either government and faces many technical, environmental, and security challenges. Next, we have the SLJ 900-32, also known as the Iron Monster which is a bridge-building machine that can carry, lift, and place sections of track over valleys and canyon zone. This machine is 92 meters long, 24 meters wide, 30 meters tall, and weighs 580 tons. It can also travel at 5 kilometers per hour with a full load. The Iron Monster has been used to construct several high-speed rail projects in China, such as the one connecting Inner Mongolia and the rest of the country. The machine can reduce the construction time and costs significantly compared to traditional methods that require cranes and scaffolding. Next, we have the Kunlun Tunnel, which is a railway tunnel that passes through the Kunlun Mountains in Qinghai Province 2. The tunnel is 1,686 meters long and reaches an altitude of 4,765 meters above sea level. It is part of the Qinghai Tibet Railway which is the world's highest and longest plateau railway to. The tunnel was completed in 2005 after five years of construction too. The tunnel faced many challenges such as low oxygen levels, low temperatures, high winds and seismic activity too. The tunnel is considered a marvel of engineering and a symbol of China's determination to connect Tibet with the rest of the country too. Finally, we have the tunneling machines. China has recently started to manufacture its own tunneling machines under license from foreign companies. One example is the 15.3 meter slurry tunneling machine that was built by the China Railway Engineering Equipment Group Company for the Suai Highway project in Shantou. The machine can drill through five kilometers of underground six-lane motorway in an earthquake zone by 20,193. The machine also installs concrete segments to form the tunnel wall as it progresses. These are just some of the mega engineering projects that China is working on or planning to work on. These projects demonstrate China's impressive engineering capabilities and ambitions, but also raise questions about their feasibility, sustainability and impact. What do you think of these projects? Do you find them unbelievable or admirable? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel Knowledge TV for more amazing videos.